All right, guys, today we're going to be removing uh, a stud bolt from an exhaust on a Briggs & Stratton Vanguard motor. And uh, it's a really simple method to do it. And there's a lot of videos like this on YouTube, and I figured what the heck, I would do one anyway. Uh, just in case my personal viewers are, are looking to remove a stud and they're kind of stuck on how to get it out. So here's the motor here. Downstairs, I have a motor that the... Uh, head was stripped out and I'm about to do a Healy coil on it and I'm going to do a video on that also but I needed a new set of studs so I came up here to you can see I have a big scrap pile of engines up here and uh, I wanted to get this stud out here now some studs will have a certain end on them where you could actually put a tool on there and turn it off these do not if you look at these studs this is what they uh they look like here there's no end on them to actually back them out so how do you get that out? It's real simple. Uh, you just use two nuts like this. And what you want to do is just take a little bit of WD-40. And uh, we're just going to lubricate that area a little bit. Let that start soaking in. And we'll take our first nut and we will screw it. And we're going to go all the way down. And this, these studs have a shoulder on them, so it should bottom out down there. But we don't need to bottom out. We just need to get enough room on the top here to get our second nut on there. Now we're going to take our second one and we're going to thread it on there just like that. And the idea is to make sure that this nut butts up against the other one. So we're going to take our, this one is actually a half inch and we're going to got a little tight on me there we want to get this to go down a little bit more that should work there all right now we're going to take our bottom one start loosening it so that it butts up against the top one all right they seem pretty tight together now what you want to do is take two wrenches all right and you're going to take one wrench you're going to put it on the bottom nut there and then you're going to take your other wrench and put it on the top nut now you want to hold your bottom wrench because you don't want that other nut to spin while you tighten your top one. Ugh. All right, so now these are pretty tight together there. So now basically what you want to do now is your bottom nut here is you want to take that and you're going to loosen the bottom nut. You're going to turn. Uh, it's coming. Just like that and you can see now it's backing that stud out of there I have really got to get a uh, better camera set up here rather than always holding it with one hand should be able to get it by hand now and there it is so now you're stuck with a stud with a uh, these two nuts locked on top of it. Well, it's real simple. What you want to do is take your stud and just put the bottom bolt into this, the bottom nut, I'm sorry, into the vise. And then we'll take our top one and just loosen it like that. All right, you don't want to put the vise on the actual threads of this because then you're going to have a whole nother problem. And then you just take the other one out of the vise and now you can thread it off. And that's it. Really simple. Remove a muffler stud. All you need is two nuts, two wrenches, and some WD-40. Hopefully this tip helps. If it did, hit subscribe below. Even if it didn't help, just for me taking a time out, please hit subscribe below. I really need to get more subscribers up. I do these videos somewhat daily. And uh, give me a thumbs up, please, and I'll see you guys next time.